some new stuff that came out for the new season. Usually every update there'll be something coming out. We're just going to jump on top of it and work with it now. Let's go ahead and set this special vending machine down here. Blow it up. Spin it around. Blow it forward. Let's go ahead and make it smaller. These are going to be classic vending machines. This Grab the sign. Bring it over. And just put this up here real quick. Alright. Go into the settings, change it. That was the uh, right one. Let's get the other new new weapon. Oops. Throw it over here. Okay. Oh my god, dude, what's wrong with me? What the hell? The sticks my controller. Okay. DMR. This one we'll just put over here. Whatever. Okay. so fast or it's on five it's usually I'm on two that's fine all right let's go ahead and grab this lion thing here there's supposed to be a new dinosaur or something in the game I'll go ahead and drop that oh it didn't drop on the ground what the hell why oh, won't it Just a raptor. Let's get a whole shit ton of them. Spawn through walls now. Okay. Let's see, spawn in infinite. One second, spawn through 
well, spawn radius. Let's just have them all over the place. Activation. <coughs> tamed as follows. Tamed follow distance. So you can tame them. Let's put it f further. So you, it's easier. Wander range. Uh, wherever, there, wherever. Actually, let's do it within the castle. So maybe 20 and like 20. Enable at game start. Force spawn on timer. On a receiving channel. Okay, so you see right there how it says on a receiving channel. That means we could set a trigger to where they will come out when something's triggered or something's switched or it's on a timer. Let's go ahead and mess with this signal. Let's say yes. Damage. They don't. They don't kill you. Damage the player. None. Damage to environment. I don't. Oh, well, we want them to eat walls and shit. So yeah, they movement speed. They're kind of slow and dumb. Taming enabled. You can drop loot. No, cause that'll get annoying. Riding enabled, starting energy. Boom, boom. Okay. So now this should. What? I've I've never seen this. It's different. And they did this different. And we should. What is different? This is all new. What the freak? Okay. What? Okay. Spawn. We're in receiving. What? What? This is different. What the? Wait. And uh, wait, what? Dude, I'm at. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Spawn. We're receiving. Select the device. S I don't want. Oh, okay, teleporter. I don't want a teleporter. I want a switch. Why can't I use a switch? That's fucking weird. Wait a minute. Alright guys, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, I gotta check something. <coughs> so there's like no more switches. Oh, there we are. There's oh, right here. Alright. Now what's this stuff like now? I mean, you saw it when we were building the map. Okay. What? Oh, these look this no they don't activating team maybe I have to go into that thing here uh, activation distance that doesn't matter enable on and before spawn on receiving channel okay that's what I want to do okay now Activating any body trigger to the sequence triggers can't be triggered on any times. Transmit every X trigger delay. Trigger sound is a trigger sound off. A visual off. Visible in game no. Receive damage when visible. Enable on game start. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go back into that. Okay, enable when triggered. Trigger when receiving from no. Enable wait. On trigger send event to What the fuck? So now I gotta go I'll have everything that I put down is gonna be here. What? This is definitely gonna take some getting used to, guys. Cause I don't know. Torchlight, torchlight. These must be all the torch places I put down, I guess. Torchlight 35, 36, 37. Oh my god, dude. What is up here? Uh, billboard. Wow. This is all different. On trigger, send it to. Wow. Wow. That sucks, dude. Why they? I just started learning, and they went and changed it. Like I actually just started learning. Whatever. 
we'll figure it out. I'm gonna have to like go on my time and figure it out. But let's go ahead and see what uh, this looks like. At least we'll just have some some wrappers. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this and put him on the other side. Wow, that is crazy. I was so getting used to it too. God dang, it's like I gotta learn all over again. All right, let's see what this looks like. I know it's floating in the air. That's fine. We'll drop. <coughs> All right, let's see if we can tame one from a distance. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. figure it out together all right let's go ahead and put the switch by the inside what we're gonna do is lay down a pulse plate well what it was a pulse plate and that should trigger like different sounds you'll see let's put it by the other side and we have our little sign radios okay this should be a pulse trigger I hope they still have it. Oh, there it is. Pulse trigger, right? And then the speakers. And that's what I used to have to use. Whoops, hold on. Pulse trigger. Okay. Alright. We gotta set down the pulse trigger. Let's actually put it outside the map because sometimes like, I don't, can't figure out how to make it work. Alright, uh, if we put down the pulse trigger, that allows a, a pulse to, uh, oh shoot, really? I'm in the freaking wall. Put it out here. Okay. That allows, uh, gives a pulse watch. It'll send a pulse, which activates, uh, triggers. So, shit. Know what I'm doing here. Okay, we have to go down to the. I have it going real slow. So I'm gonna bring that down to like 10. Let's see. Bring it down to 10. And let's see. Hit OK. Just lock it. Let's see now. Okay, that's kind of what I want. And then we put triggers. I would put triggers that would correspond to the. 
to the speaker. Okay, make that bigger. And I would put them in here, and that that thing would trigger them to go off. So let's start from the back, so we can separate them more evenly. All right, so that's about right there. We'll set a trigger. Give that time to generate another trigger. Give that time to generate. I'll just do three three triggers for now. Okay. Okay, now we got our triggers. Let's go ahead and yeah. customize this. See, yeah, this is all new. Active. I don't know, dude. I gotta look. That's all I can do. Enable when receiving. Disable one machine, but we have to enable it. I don't know. Hold on. Maybe there's on trigger send event to. Okay. All right. So we got to get this. Okay. So that's the one. That, the last one. It says send the event to a certain thing. So I guess that when that pulse is started and it hits the trigger, it'll send the signal to nothing. So we have to put the speaker in. And I guess in order for them to recognize what. Uh, it's just different. What um. What sound it's looking for and what type, what like channel. So this is speaker nine. This is speaker nine, nine, eight, and seven. So we want it to go to speaker seven, right? Should go to speaker seven. What the hell? Why did it do that? <coughs> Why is it? What? Dude, they made they made it's they made it harder. Okay, speaker three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, speaker seven. So when it's triggered from the pulse, it'll go to speaker seven. Boom. Okay. Let's maybe just get some getting used to, I guess. Okay, on trigger, we want this one to go to. Can you do? Can you say like let's say S? Let's just see. All right. How about like if I was to do like SP for speaker and do try to do it quick? No. Maybe SPE. I'm just seeing the shortest way to get where you know the navigate. Okay. Yeah. Just do like S. Okay. You don't have to do the whole name. Just go to speaker A. <laughs> Hit OK. So when this pulse hits this trigger, go to seven. This pulse hits trigger, go to eight. This pulse hits this trigger, the signal will be sent to speaker nine. Let's put SP, SPE to make the navigation go quicker. Boom. And we go to number nine and hit OK. Alright, so when the trigger is hit, this one should go to seven, eight, and nine. This is seven, eight, and nine when it triggers hit now we have to customize this zone direction send pulse activation type zone visible in game no activate one point forward damage zone activate game activate on game phase on the game start that's what we want okay custom pulse style I don't know I just did off because that's we have it set already let's see it should start going that fast. Now we gotta pick our sounds. So when it hits that, it'll come on that speaker. When that ball hits the next one, and so on and so forth. So let's start picking the sound. All right, we want like it's gonna play throughout the whole game. So we want to make sure that <coughs> it's something cool. Like that's a little longer. I like the Halloween stuff. Just sounds cool. 
Where is it? Halloween. Watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> sound to kind of go with that one maybe I don't know just randomly going in and see no. I'll see it. If I see it, I'll know it. play in unison once I hit this trigger in the game mode they should start um they should trigger let's test well it should start automatically actually on game start so we should start hearing sounds that make it more immersive hopefully let's listen Maybe I did something wrong because it's all new. Let me see if I got it. Let me see if it's a a player hit transmission thing. I'm gonna find it first. I think they're I think it's off though. Shoot. I don't think I can see it. We'll look for it. We're on a mission. We will find it. I thought it was on the, the outside of the entrance. But apparently not. I think I made the speakers not visible, so we should be able to see something probably around this turn here. Wait, you can look at my map. Oh, there's stuff over here. I think it's, oh, it's over there. So see something over there. Different. Right here. I think we just went all the way around. We could have just went the other way, found it quicker. There it goes. Let's see. I don't know. If, hopefully it's just a trigger thing and it actually works. That it has to be started on the game start and I messed up the setting or something. But it can definitely be triggered by player. So let's see. settings I figure out what happened 
when you're building an island that's <coughs> just what happens okay okay let's see looping oh infinite that's why okay tempo 10 length maybe forward send pulse activation time send pulse toggle pulse on no visible during game does this does disable activation while running i don't understand that one activate it when paused pulse damage level on game start On game start. It's, it's customized, right? That's, that's what. Oh, wait, you can customize it? Like, customize it, customize it? I didn't know that. Oh, whatever. Okay, so I'm playing. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Uh. Damn it, then we're gonna have to. Okay, we just have to s listen. If not, we'll restart. Man, they had to change it, dude. Like, why? Like, fuck, freaking why? Like, I was just learning. Alright, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna ahead and try to figure this out. And once I figure it out, I'll restart the video and let you know how, what happened. I'm gonna keep going back and forth. Alright, welcome back. It's Sausage Kool-Aid. Create Fortnite with me and help you guys out with, uh, getting your game to become a little bit more immersive as far as like bombs people stepping on triggers um, and that sort of thing so let's go ahead and get started you want to go into your gallery and go to devices and grab the bomb I already did that and I have the bomb here make the bomb a little bit heavy, uh, bigger there's the bomb make it a little bigger and you want to go into your settings and you want to display the damage numbers, blast radius, let's bring it down to one because we just want it really to blow up in the area that it's at, let's bring it 0.5 we don't want it to do player damage maybe tickle them a little bit, two, two damage, you know, nothing crazy ignore team for damage, no structure damage, yes, we want it to break sh stuff so we'll go ahead and put 500 Damage indestructible items, yes. Knockback. Will it knock back the player? Uh, I don't. I mean, we'll just make it low. It doesn't have to. It's just bump a little. Blast line of sight. Explodes proximity range. No, it's not on proximity range. That means, like, if somebody gets close to it, it'll blow up. I mean, you can, I guess, do that. I mean, it's the same thing as a trigger, I guess. So we'll just do it like about five. You know, so they're not they're like a tile away well let's do it like two so there's explosions going on a little bit further away not so i we got to make the knockback uh, medium proximity delay like is there a delay no it'll go automatic ignore team from time to destination from game start there's no timer so you can put up one and you can put bombs all over the map and then you can have them explode at various times as your gameplay progresses you can go all the way up to minutes and stuff you know like you can like oh, hey this bomb's going to blow up here and there at this time you know so it'll make it a little more random uh, <coughs> visible in game no you don't want to see the bomb collision during games no collides with everything show help bar play audio and we want the bomb it doesn't matter because they're not going to see it in the game either way i mean for now though it just looks cooler so let's go ahead and set a few bombs on the ground here. Let's just set one over here. Oh, sorry about that. Dang it. Let's just set a few. We're not going to see them. So, in the game. So we just want to have them here in random places. And just see, you know, it's just, it should blow stuff up as we run around. 
Uh, let's see. Let's play some random. All right, let's go. Let's start game for tests. So as we we shouldn't see the bombs, and as we run by them, they should explode. But just a little bit of a tickling damage, looking crazy, and I'll knock you back a little bit. Just to make the game more of a Alright, we don't see the bombs, but they should go up when I get close. Oh, I forgot where they were, let's just run around. too much. Maybe I got a little excited with the new dinosaurs. Um, we gotta work on the bombs and let's bring those dinosaur counts down a little bit. We'll go hit the dinosaurs. Uh, we have it on 20. I don't know. Let's bring it down to 5. Go back on that sign. Bring this one down to about 5. Okay. Um, let's see why the bombs aren't exploding. They should explode like when you get close to them. Let's see. Health display blast radius five, so it's not gonna be player damage. Ignore ignore nobody team for damage. Structure damage five hundred. Knockback medium blast line of sight. Determines whether explosives which got his clear line of sight to send player or props and damage it. So we'll say No, you don't need a blast of sight. Two tiles is the plus. There's no proximity delay. It should go off automatically. Time from destination that's the time, it doesn't matter. I don't I don't I don't know. Whoops. Oh shoot. Oh my god, really? Did I just do that? I was like down here. There's no team for class. Proximity delay none. Collides with. Play audio. I, I don't know. Oh my god. We're just gonna have to put a put a trigger. Right. Explode when we see ring from Oh shit. This is gonna be more difficult, man. <sighs> okay. This should work though, I just don't get it. Okay. Health bar display and there's on this blast radius five. Maybe I should make the blast radius. No, that's just how big the explosion is. Ignore team structure damage. Mm -hmm. 